Hi everybody, this is Marcos. Thanks for joining me once again. And I pre-recorded some stuff and I noticed that it was like 20 minutes long. I think that's way, way, way too long of a video. So I'm going to try to save you some time and save me some time. Uh, what is this doing over here? It's my sweater, y'all. You want to see my sweater? Here's my sweater. Oh, I need some tea. Mm, I'm out of tea. Anyways, I went ahead and did uh, the True Match uh, concealer before L'Oreal in the one N123 uh, Fair. Um, anyways, yeah, I concealed my eyes and I put some concealer on my arm and I tried the colors that I got. Um, I'll just tell you the name and I'll show you which one it is. And we started with the... Uh, gold um they are called the color color tattoo pure pigment 24 hours i don't know why some of them don't say like 24 hours on it but they're the same brand um i don't know if you ever tried the 24 hour uh color tattoo uh met yeah color tattoo 24 hour this one's in the 60 silver strike color it just it, it was a cream shadow I studio bought this I fell in love with their gel eyeliner so I wanted to try their eyeshadows I do like these but I think they crease and flake over time so I was very excited to see that they came with like a mineral like a powder kind of thing so yes here's that color the name of it it's called 25 wild gold and this is how it looks on my skin there are all quite shiny and glimmery and kind of bright um, some I feel like they're brighter than the other ones the next one it's this like teal color or whatever it's called five never fade a jade this one's probably one of the brightest from all of them like just like this purple this purple right here um, and then here we have the pink one this one doesn't say 24 hours just like the blue one but the gold one did say 24 hours on it and this color it's called 20 pink reveal my camera doesn't really want to focus on those tiny letters but this is how that pink looks I expected it to be more like a hot pink, but it has like a purplish undertone. Um, I don't know if I like this color as much as these other two. Uh, these, I feel like they're brighter and more shimmery. I, I feel like the two sweeps that I, sweeps, sweeped that I did, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I did, it didn't go as bright as the other one. Next, we have the purple one, and this is called 15 uh, Potent Purple. And it looks just like this. And I do like it. It's one of one of the darkest colors from all of them. They did have it in many different colors. Um, the next color is going to be this brown color. It's kind of like a bronzy brown. And it's called Baking Bronze. Oh, I guess it is a bronzy brown. Um, it looks like this. It's very shiny and brown. You can't really see it against my skin that much. And I actually got it in a, this is the one that I'm used on my arm. The brown, see brown, or what is it called? Baking bronze. And I got it in this other shade. It's a lighter shade of it. And then this one's called Sixty Buff and Tough. Um, I haven't even opened this one because I feel like it just would look almost like this one, just in a shimmery, almost like my skin color. So I'm not going to show you guys that one. I put concealer because I'm going to do a very popped color eye look. I'm going to make this up as I go. And then this one's going to be more of a natural. I'm going to use, I'm going to show you the naturally one first. And I'm going to be using the gold and the browns, the wild gold and the baked baking bronze. I'm going to be using these two colors on this eye and I'll be using the three other colors on my other eye. And I'm just going to be using the CoverGirl uh, 350. It doesn't really have a name. It's just called 350. And it's just a um, white eyeshadow that I will use as a highlight, a tear duct eye uh, highlight and a brow highlight. So let's just get right into it because I don't want to make this too long. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the gold color of it um, and see how they look on my eyelid. On my eyelid. Mm, how pretty. 
Here we go. We're going to add it right in the inner corner and blend it halfway of just the lid. I'm not going to try to go past my crease. I'm just going to do like two coats so you can see. And I'm just kind of like tapping and kind of pushing out kind of deal. I'm not doing a sweeping motion. I'm just tapping and kind of moving, dragging it to the mid kind of section of my eye. Look at that. I can, ooh, I like that. It's very sparkly. Let me get that uh, out, out of the way. I had like a chunk in there. My lighting is quite bad. I wish I could show you. It's kind of like a yellowy gold. I'll do like a third coat on it actually. I just really want it to be a punch of gold right there. Okay. We're gonna, up next, we're gonna grab, uh, oh, if you're wondering, I'm just using an Ecotool shadow brush. I'm using the uh, baking bronze color. I'm gonna use that in my outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going like up to my crease. And again, I'm just tapping, tapping, and kind of like a dragging motion towards the mid, but I don't want to go to the mid really. I just kind of want to intensify that crease area to make it really pop out. Ooh, look at that. I kind of like what I'm seeing from these shadows. I do like shinier shadows. I don't like matted shadows. I feel like matted shadows just kind of don't last that long. The glitter just kind of makes everything pop and I love glitter and shiny things. Have you noticed? So I'm just gonna kinda drag this across the top of the crease just to give me like a cut crease kind of feel. If you don't know where your crease is, it's just where your eye crease is really. Like I have really like baggy eyes I feel like so I kinda have to go a little bit overboard my crease. Kinda have to like draw in a fake crease. So there is that, that it's more of a natural look with this shadows. And then I'm gonna do a very fun, bright colored shadow so you get an idea. I'm just gonna quickly just blend everything out with this Blendy Eco Tools brush. Not much blending, I'm just gonna slightly blend it because I like the shimmery to stay there. So there's that natural look and I'm how I said I was gonna come back with the CoverGirl 350 White Shimmery Eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna do this with my finger, just kinda lightly, and I'm gonna do it in my tear duct. And I'm kind of going to push it upwards kind of thing, blend it into my eye and then down to my eye to make that corner really pop. So that's how that looks. Let's go right ahead to the other side with the brighter colors. And I'm glad I'm kind of making this fast. It's only like 8 minutes long. It's not like the 20 as my other video was. So that's a positive. So far, I'm liking these shadows. I am very excited to do many, several looks with them. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna start with just the pink uh, shadow and I'm gonna use this in my crease. In my crease, yeah, totally. In the inner corner of my eye and I'm gonna drag it in to like a mid, mid, uh, mid lid. So here we go, I'm just using the same tapping motion and dragging it towards the mid, but not quite to the middle of my lid, not going past my crease area. So yeah, this is gonna be a very happy shadow. Very bright, very Scandalous. I'm gonna use three different colors on it. We'll see how this turns out. I'm just kind of going, I'm gonna fade it from the lightest to the darkest really to give it like a smoky effect. 
because these colors kind of don't go that well together. I would say probably the purple and the pink do, but then the bluish green kind of doesn't. But I'm going to apply it anyways just so you get an idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to grab that purple and do it in the outer corner and just kind of blend it into that pink. And I kind of just like twirl it around to grab the powder and I'm just going to dab it. Dab, dab, dab. I go, I pull my hand like this and I blow up to blow any excess. So if you ever see me do that, that's what I am doing. So I'm going past my crease with this purple yet again because my eyes kind of sag. Tap, tap, tap. Kind of drag it towards the middle. And ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh, I don't want to use that blue really. No, don't make me use the blue. Don't make me use the blue. But I'm going to use it anyways just for the video really so you could see. I'm going to apply it right here kind of area so you could see just a pop of blue clashing with this purple. So look, look at that. That looks very pretty. I kind of like these pink and purple. I might do it together another time in a different video. I'll do it into like a smoky eye, but I'm going to come back with the pink to really push it towards the crease area. Okay, I like how I, this pop of color is looking. This is how it looks from far away. I think it's turning out very pretty compared to the other one that's more natural and subtle. Uh, here we go with this crazy jade jade fade color. Here we go. It's quite bright, so I'm kind of scared that I'm going to mess up this lovely pink-purple thing that I'm going... That I'm going... Oh yeah, I'm totally going somewhere with this. No, I'm... You know, you know what I meant. I'm just going to tap it right here, really. I just kind of want to add dimension and pop of color, really. I'm not going to drag it to the inner corner. I'm just going to tap it right on the end and blend it out so you can see the effect that it gives my eyes. And I'm just using a blendy equal tool. And I'm blending out instead of inwards because I don't want to clash it with the pink, really. I just kind of want to show the blue, but then the purple, really, I'm gonna come back with the purple right on the outer crease. And I'm just tapping and smudging, really, with this blue color. So there's that. There's that blue color. Kisses. Blendy, blend, blend. I'm going to blend a little inwards. Okay, and I'm going to come back with that purple, guys. With that purple, just to intensify the mid-outer outer corner of my eye. And this is just all preference, really. Like, if you want this, you can leave it like this. I don't know. I'm not really doing this as a tutorial. I'm just kind of showing you how they look. Okay, I'm going to finish this off with the same highlight 350 of CoverGirl eyeshadow and I'm just going to do it with my finger. I don't need a brush for this. I kind of have more control with my finger. There's that highlight. Oh, I kind of really like this eyeshadow. I use it just as a highlight, really. I highlight. I wouldn't use this as a like highlighting thing on my skin, like on my cheekbones or anything because I feel like that would be way too shiny. It's very, very glittery. In the same method, I'm going to kind of blend up and blend down. So there's that. You can see a very bright color eye and very gold. These are the colors that I'm using. And yes, again, this is the 24-hour color tattoo in the powder form, mineral, pigment, pure. So, yep, these are the cream, and this is the packaging for the powder. This is kind of glass, and this is kind of like a plastic. 
Um, I do like this product, so overall they're great products. I do like them. Maybe you should try them out. I would say this blue color is quite more brighter than the pink color. Um, but then the purple, it's one of the brighter and darker colors. So from all the ones that I bought, I did like the purple and I did like the blue. And my favorite one is the gold color. This one's really nice. I really like gold shadows. Excuse me. My dinner is coming back to my... Here we go. These are my three favorite colors of all of them. I would say this brown and this pink are not that pigmented as the other ones. I will try this one later at my house uh, so I can really see what I can do with that. So I do like the powders better because I feel like they're not going to crease. I can just kind of retouch them. Not like the creams. The creams actually stick to your skin. They, you can't, like if they dry, you can't smudge it or anything. It just kind of creases. It's a little flaky after a while. And if you were thinking, I don't know if I showed you already, the True Match crayon that I'm very happy with. It's my latest concealer that I've been using. That's what I concealed my eyes with and my arms so I could show you the colors. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me. And I loved talking all about these products. Um, go ahead and buy them. They're at probably Walgreens, Walmart, or any of those drugstores. Love you.